Greetings everyone, and great here for another H Powers 4 replay. Spawn on top left side is the yellow roost where puppy owes me $80. Spawn on bottom right side is the blue Byzantines with 101. <clears throat> Since we do have a roost player on the field, let's switch out of here so we can take a look at the trade bounties. Yellow Scout is here. Deer have not been found. Looks like he may have just missed it. Both of the deer pots over here. Blue does find that one. Doesn't find the close one just yet. He does find a sheeple. Ooh, yellow's striking out big, big time. But he does have a second scout there. Which will find this deer deposit and that sheep. His other deer deposit's way over here, which is a safe spot for him. And blue does find this other deer deposit now. I haven't heard him hit any wolves either. There's one. And Blue did find a good number of sheep there, so he's been finding a good number of them. Blue does, yellow does claim all those deer now. He's up to 70 trade bounty. Looks like he found seven deer there. Another seven deer here. And now finds a local doggo. <laughs> Japan had wolves. Does Japan have like this is like the Japan uh landscape? Does Japan have a uh local canine? A native canine, I should say. We now have the grand winery going on up as well as Kremlin. There's actually two gold deposits right there. While they're finding all the all the trade bounties, look at the yellow size of the map. The gold's very tight together. Food is next to some stone. Looks like Yellow has quite a bit of dense amount of resources just within this green area. <clears throat> Another dense spot over here with the deer and the boar, as well as some gold. Blue has quite a bit of food and deer over here. With just all sorts of food, including berry bushes and the boar, while two gold deposits and two stone deposits for just to pack over there. So both sides have densely packed areas with some gold in the center. <coughs> Excuse me. Grand Winery is almost complete. It looks like he does find 190 trade bounty. He did find this deer deposit up here. So he's not even at tier 2 trade bounty. Killing off one more. We'll get into tier 2. So we'll just have to keep an ear out for the wolves he may find. And we've got the secondary town center already being deployed out over here. Grand Winery is deployed out right there, which help him improve the oil collection for these uh, berry bushes up to 80%, giving quite a bit of value for those berry bushes. Granted, it is a one-time usage. If he would have placed the Grand, Grand Winery right there, he could have got two berry deposits there. Find off the sister now. Aqueducts are seeing some damage. The aqueducts have 600 health. And there's three scouts here, and it's going to be that one scout trying to ward them away, but it was unsuccessful. Successful. And he is taking time to repair up the uh, aqueduct. Let's take wood, or it does look like it takes wood to repair, not stone. That's a little bit humorous. Maybe that should cost stone repair. But it does take wood to repair, it looks like. Now got the deer deposit being cleaned up, as well as a bit of berry bushes there. The deer's a little bit spread out over here, so we may need to get another mill over this region. Yeah, maybe one right there, because you see two berry deer deposit, uh, deer carcasses, not deposits. Now we got the mercenary house being blown on the field. You know, I rarely ever seen aqueduct actually under fire, and I really like the fact that it actually leaks water like that. Even though the water has no original source, it meant is aqueducts are designed to go from high ground to low ground in a sort of direction. It's basically a canal, but yeah, basically the best way to put it is a canal, but rather than digging into the ground, you dig up the path. Build up the path. There we go. We do not have the Silk Row Mercenaries, which does give me access to javelin throwers, camera riders, and what was it, grenadiers? So that's the least common of all the mercenaries. Javelin throwers will be useful versus the archers, and will provide some damage to the early knights since the roots can deploy out in the field. Trade posts. Let's see. Up here, we've got Zunchanus and mercenary war elephants. Down here, we do have Sapahi and mercenary crossbows. 
which are, I believe are our tears based on what it looks like. The mercenary crossbows in the next age may be pretty good. Going back out for a moment. Not any additional trade bounty. Yep, camel riders. Camel riders will also be good in age two to or age three to fight the uh, knights and horsemen. Where are those? Where is that knight? There's one now. Two knights on the field. Those are villagers. Looks like maybe I have to pull out a town center over here. That's a blue scout. I'm not sure why you actually built a mill there. There's plenty of uh, collections uh, room to collect with the spare bush before needing to build a mill there. There is the knight. You have some limitari out in the field trying to hunt down that knight. Doko Doc once again is leaking fluids. Probably best apply a tourniquet, right? But if that much is coming out, you're supposed to apply tourniquets if I remember correctly. Granted, it's not made out of it's not blood coming out. Or has been claimed with the help of the knight. He needs to build the hunting cabin. It was where the what's we call it? The boar carcasses. Yeah, good number of throws help engage the archers. Javan for the uh, Lumitari may be a good composition. A common composition for both the groups as well as the French is going for Knight uh, Archer, and Jam Thrower is a great item for assisting the counter composition. Very, very good. I also fix fixated on the Knight earlier. Uh, well, we could use Counter Knight. I forgot that an Archer would be a good uh, complement to the Knight, so. Ooh, six Javans is enough to take out an Archer. So the Jam Thrower's Lumentari is a good. Excellent composition. He has a perfect counter. And the thing nice thing about Javanthor is since their base damage is so high, it can hit knights quite well. Still, he will could potentially get some mercenary crossbows next age. Help hit the knights as well. That bilge was over there, did go down. Now I've got a big wave of research coming out by the Roos. With a small amount of research coming out for the Byzantian player. This small wood deposit is being cleaned up first, leaving this larger one untouched. This larger one's also still untouched as well. And I got another wave of javelin throwers now pulling on the field. Do not rely on the army value down here. It tends not to count the olive oil stuff. For example, there's uh, 11 Lumentari, which each costs 90, so that should be worth 990. With that, even that, it's not even technically correct. I think it's actually counted this as 80 each. Because if it's 80, it would be 880 plus another 70 yep it's counting lumentari as 80 and not 90 in the army value tab as well and not even counting the javelin throws a, a single point <clears throat> other line of palisade walls there and right now all these cisterns are level one what is going on okay that's level two That's level two, but these two are not connected. Why is that? Oh, there's no end piece. I think the fact that since there's no end piece, it's not recognizing this is attached to it. We do now have the Golden Horn Tower not being pulled on out. We got a good number of night, early knights, scouts, spearmen, and archers. Spearman just primary there, just to be a meat shield for against his opponent's spearman. 
and will do reasonably well versus Javelin Throwers. Try to fill just once more. Javelin Throwers and Beam dancing around and cancels the Golden Horn Tower. That's something you really ever want to do. But it is only what's going to be affected by a level one sister. Now I got some militia deploying field as well. Villagers are trying to fall to the sound center. Remember, there's a secondary town center. Can't store all the villagers there. So a good number of them will be going on down. The militia are still alive. They've already died from dysentery. They have died to dysentery. And good hits there by the jam throwers. And there's actually not a whole lot of archers there. There's 10 archers, which still is reasonable. These guys have a mix of shields up and shields down. And now it does go ahead and... Again, no end piece. So it's still level 1 cistern. Which is also negatively impacting the other cisterns as well. And yes, it needs to get a little cistern segment there. Something similar to the sort of this design. Village is not getting hit there. A couple of them do go down. Blue's down to 61 villagers. Yellow's at 69. High trade house is being deployed on out. Golden Horn Tower is still being deployed. And now we've got more olive groves here. <clears throat> and we've got knights and scouts trying to breach over here as well. Lumentari needs to get over there. Blue Scout will see some of this force. And both players advance to a similar age, same time. Got a uh, veteran mercenary contract and the veteran Lumentari upgrade. You can probably mix some Venari Guard, which probably be a good item to mix in right now. The excellent versus the archers and versus spearmen. So Venari Guard, I believe, a uh, Veranian, Veranian, however you pronounce it. Guard, I believe, is a good item to mix on in. It's getting some more Lumentari. Of course, the Golden Tower is providing some more jump throwers. It could get some furry camel riders, which would be decent versus the uh, knights. But overall, jump throwers may be better. He actually has quite a bit of olive oil stored up as well. He may be eyeing for the siege mercenaries in Imperial Age. <laughs> the wall has been repaired. The cistern still not attached. Lumtara could turn around and stab some of those horsemen. They will go down, however. There's a force of 10 here. Versus a force of four knights. It's trading all the Lumentari to get out a kill on some of the stuff. Maybe worth it. Not like he's going to really escape out of here either way. It does take out that knight as well. Take out most of the horses. Though mo most of it went scouts went down. And now I got the warrior monk moving around. Blue has claimed one relic. Yellow has picked one up. I for this relic here. And probably Blue's not going to claim another relic. He doesn't have enough fuel to control. The last three relics are here, here, and here. There's the boar and the stone now cropping south side of his borders. Now got a good number for running guard. Excellent. His opponent has not deployed any crossbows, going for some of his own mana arms. Running Guard does have a bit more melee armor. Downthrower is getting some good volleys there on those archers as well. And he even starts pulling on crossbows. He actually already has a counter with a Javelin Thrower already on the field. More of a running Guard not being pulled on out. A direct care person with running guard, you have 140 health, one extra armor, 13 damage, versus a man at arms has 155 health, one less armor, and 12 damage. Wait, running guard have less health? Huh. Running guard have less health. I did not know that, actually. I just assumed they had the same or more health. Giant throws against some good damage there, but not getting hit by some spearmen. Can't let his uh, jump throws go down like that. 
Knight did charge straight forward, not receiving any retaliation damage. Javon Thor is still being pursued. Looking for being cleaned on up. Javon Thor is still running away. More Veron and Garbage straight forward. Against all the spear, maybe go for some berserking. Got the monk here. Maybe we'll get some good frontline healing. The rest of these forces being cleaned on up. So got some worse mana arms mixed on in. It's also a unique upgrade for the running guard. Let's see. Is this a research here? No, is this research the blacksmith? Does he have the blacksmith? Here we go. Teardrop shields, which increases the attack speed of a running guard by 15%, which is not bad. Armor of cataphracts by 1 and move speed of limitari. Four yards of fortitude now being researched, increasing in the health of all Roost Cavalry by 15. We do have some Camel Lancers being pulled out. That may be from the Golden Tower. Nope, it is being mainly being built out. Which, against archers, they don't think they have any additional armor at this age. Monk looks like we'll go down. Good damage there. The Reese has captured up all the sacred sites. We're running guard charging the way forward. We got a good number of archers here, but now a good number of crossbows as well. Lou has to out some zone crossbows. He is microing his uh, javelin throws and gauge some other stuff, and his javelin throws being focused down by the knights. Lou's front line has disintegrated. We've got some camel lances here, providing damage debuff against the knight. Camelanta does go down now. So we've got a number of Roos archers here. Limitari now being cleaned on up. Javon Thor's so, or so very good at this situation. Camel Rider for 24. Only has one range armor at the moment. Couple of Limitari for 24, keeping the knights at bay. And most excites have been decaptured. Knights being focused down. Javon Thor's 24. He needs to make sure the crossbow's in the mana arms. He only has four crossbows in the moment in this formation, and Chantor's damage is good. How close not being upgraded a um, Spring Golem placement there. Knight and Warrior Monk push the way forward. Spring Golem placement is almost complete. That will provide some great fire support in this region. Saint's Blessing has now been activated, giving all of us units a little bit extra damage, including the archers. Farms already flown on the field, as well as some good number of olive groves. And looks like this uh, point was fully captured by Blue. Limitari will be cleaned on up. They may get themselves one knife. No, they do not. And a couple of Camelancers now trying to pursue over here, try and gauge the Warrior Monk. Bruce players now deploying on keeping the center of the map to secure this gold deposit. This one can still be claimed, as well as this one. Blue is claiming with the deer, as well as Umba. War Monk has gone down, the monks are still alive. A couple crossbows over here. I'm not sure why they're over there, but they were successful defending the 60, 66 pieces of gold. Born engineer companies now he's bringing in some siege mercenary. Some Nessa Beast will be very good. We Hui Pals will be able to strike this keep from a very good distance, even within these borders. So he does actually have a good siege location to hit this keep. And the last one is French Cannon, which I think the Hui Hui Pals 
would be better versus the structures. Oh, where's the Wee Pals? Camel will clean that up. Wait. There we go. Now I can see it. Just a bit of bugs and replays. Knights did clean up by those camel lancers. But now he does have access to me advanced mercenaries. Or advanced siege weapons. We have enough high armory now being pulled out, which will give him cheap weapons. Siege weapons. So this is a group of unique upgrades for them. Banging out placement got a decent shot there. It does do siege damage. And it is affected by black uh, arrow upgrades as well. For each of the first attacks. And it's great damage on the mana arms. Mana arms have been snicked with will down. Ground floors are getting quick damage. Crossbows before it's four. Getting some elite research, including the uh, elite contracts. Getting out some grenadiers from the Silk Road mercenaries may not be half bad. Overall, it seems like Shadow is still the best item. Now let's bring in some nested bees. Nested bees would be also useful. Good shot there by this Maganel. Zimtari are pushing away forward. They made it over on the Spring Gold, which they do. Camelines just made one charge away forward and hit the, the or Camelines hit the Maganel. Maganel has gone down. Quite a bit of force pulled out by the Byzantian player. His Nessa Beast now pulled on out. And he also has gone for a French cannon. We do now have the Elite Horseman Research as well as Elite Mana Arms. He does spot this keep there. The French cannon can easily take that out. There's Nessa Beast. Ah, I just realized Nessa Beast is classified as gunpowder and does uh, Zizu's legacy effect that could increase its range by one. Good volley there. Takes out the Maganel. That unit does get cleaned on up. Lemontar pushes way forward. The Camel Rider looks like does get access to all the various Abbasid research as well, such as Camel Sport, giving infantry near armor nearby the Camel. So these Mason's do have a little extra armor. His horse not falling back. Gotten big wave of Roost Horsemen turned over on the French cannon. He was successful. Outpost being pulled on the field. Limitari going to try to overrun the horseman now. Horseman still pushing way forward. Got another Limitari on pursuit. We do have an upgraded outpost so far. The rest of these forces are getting overran. The Roost place really pushes way forward. So pursuing those units. Got these forces now trying to torch down that gate. Another round of Byzantine crossbows being pulled on out now. And now the horsemen are running down the south. Up here, good number of Lumen Targets way forward. Still got a good number of archer, uh, crossbows here. Not a whole lot of archers. But Shrelzy now being pulled on out the field. And now got a massive wave of upgraded outposts. He needs to fortify them if going for spring golden placements. And there's a large number of outposts here. Oh, here we've got a number of men-at-arms 
getting these villagers. The town center is now getting garrison. And now we've got oh, we've got some idle javelin throwers here, and we've got a round of mean grenadiers. Mr. Stern is now providing a benefits. Maybe just re-plug and bleed for replay at this point in time. I do not know. Cannon getting some volleys there, hitting the keep. Elite army tactics and lightweight beams is now being researched by the Roost player. And maybe I have to go mass battering ram. I wonder if he has wandering town research. Horseman do go down. He does not have wandering town just yet. He does have enough research, but no, he's going for rage armor. And the army tax is also being researched by the Byzantine player. Another keep going on up. Villagers trying to push way forward to claim some gold. However, there is a lot of angry people here. Maganel finds a good hit there, takes out the building outpost. Villagers rolling back, taking a bit of damage there. Got a good number of mana arms here, engaged by the Lumitari. Horsemen trying to overrun the cannon. They were unsuccessful. Cannon were brought forward, and now they're a little bit vulnerable here. They have 30 range, so the Strolpsy can do extra damage to them. Do have the artillery shot ability. I don't know how effective it is. That may be an easy to utilize the artillery shot ability. Barons straight forward. These outposts are not currently fortified. May want to do that as well. They'll just try and torch down these banner ramps. Does get a volley there. And Blue's army will be going down. Yellow's army slowing Boodle down. I think some well placed artillery shots could have been very useful there. Another wave of Lumentari now charging the way forward. They only cost 10 wood, so when it comes to wood cost for spearmen, they're actually a little bit cheaper. Half the wood cost, which actually makes them a bit more spammable. Can just find some pot shots there. Got a number of outposts in this region not being upgraded at the moment. He has plenty of stone for upgrades. If you go for a Maganel placement, I think it's a good idea to go for the Spring Gold place, uh, not for the Spring Fortified Outpost. Blue is trying to plow a keep now. A couple man arms trying to disrupt them. War Force just being pushed on forward and forward. Chelsea are actually in place now, getting extra rate of fire. Force charging away forward, trying to hit these cannon. We'll find a good number of Maganel placements. Cannon getting repaired on up, and cannons have been saved. Keep has been pulled on the field. Does not have bowling oil of research. Adoram gained some damage on some of these outposts. Did not set that one blaze. Maganel in placements here. At least one's in range, the other one's out of range. Unless he finds fine to volley there. They'll try and force on a bad round. These players are stringing more and more mana arms across the field. The keep is providing some decent fire support, but does need boiling oil. Now it's running pushes with Pony back. Lewis killed a simply amount more value than his opponent, though that could also mean it's not properly calculated with all the jam throwers going down. If it doesn't calculate properly here, I don't think it's going to properly calculate there. It's the same thing with the Lumitari. Spearmen just constantly being reinforced. Nice bit of wood and stone. Doesn't have a lot of gold, so keeping this gold mine secure is important. Respawn Bard makes way forward. Okay, now there's three French cannon here. No artillery shot has been utilized. The range is 10. Spring Gold's range right now is 12. Lumitari pushing forward. Over on the. Uh, 
bombard. French cannon takes out that spring gold. One can't French cannon does go down. Spring gold does go down there. Six I think three, three minutes. SB finds a good volley there onto the Schultz. Schultz here are getting much bigger numbers. Cannon fires one shot, does get hit down the bombard. French cannon still alive. French cannon's dead due to the bombard. Gold is being seized up here. He does have some grenadiers pulled on out. Those charging every four, trying to torch down the bombards. Numitar charging the way forward. French or Byzantine filters are not being put in. It does take up one of the bombards, but most of these villagers will be going down. It does make him able to pull out a larger field army. Right now, Blue has a larger army field on field, but most of it is cheap uh, Lumentari. He is running low on food. He's out of food. Very little wood and gold. This player is out of food as well. It has a little bit more wood and gold. The second site is being secured by a keep. This one is secured by a keep somewhat. And this one is somewhat secured by a keep as well. Some fire siphons could finish the uh, camp, the point itself. Just want to fall back there. No upgrades on these outposts. These ones do have the Maganel emplacements. Gets a decent hit there. Outpost does go down there. He does have a thousand olive oil. I do believe Nessa B's are going to be better than the French cannon at this moment in time. He's going for another French cannon as well as a bombard. Yellow will win in a minute. He needs to start towards this uh, secret site there. He may need to dogpile on it, but he will take a large amount of damage there. 40 seconds remaining. Camel Lancers charge away forward, which they are quite durable right now. No biology, however, to make them a bit more durable. The charge on patrol here will find the keep. He's starting to dogpile on the point. It does have 20 seconds remaining as long as it's on top of it. The secret side timer will pause. He will take some hits there. He needs the shields up. Take half damage from the keep. Maganels got multiple Maganels pushing way forward. Lumitari actually getting off the point. He needs to be on whole ground state. Villager is now trying to push the way forward up here. Maganel gets a great hit there on the crossbows. Mean Grenadier is going to go on down. Second site still pauses at 28 seconds. Bombard still engaging. I'm not sure the, uh, the French cam is gone. More Bruce Village is charging way forward. He's just trying to dog the point. Does lose one of the Maganels. Uh, the Village is trying to shank the crossbows. Second site. Still now counting down. Lamentari now overrunning the Maganel. Maganel does go down. There's another one not deployed. Lamentari got back to the point there. 19 seconds remaining. Keep still taking some hits there, but the Bombard's forced to pack on up. He does have some Maganel power support. Fire Cypher is trying to push the way forward. Bombard does go down. 10 seconds for me. This Fire Cypher needs to get on another point, but I don't think he's going to get the decapture. He's trying to push his way forward onto the point. One second remains. Fire Cypher is pushing his way forward. Build. Now the Byzantine player always out his villagers. He doesn't. He didn't up uh, uh, grab spears on them. And now they're getting annihilated. Schultzy are probably get are now in place, getting extra to increase attack speed. Still one second remaining. Both sides still just dogpiling on. The keep has been set ablaze. More than the push away forward, but blue is just getting disintegrated, and that's going to be game. The Sand Great saying thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.